everyone, my name is Kirsten. I'm a technical educator intern here at Web3 Foundation, and today we're going to be talking about staking proxies. So staking proxies are proxies that let you perform staking functions, such as bonding and nominating, from a different account than having just one account with all the funds inside. This lets you use a cold and secure wallet for your funds, but easily take part in staking operations by using a proxy. So now we're going to spend some time learning how to set up a staking proxy yourself. First, make sure that you're on polkadot.js.org apps, and it will bring you to the Polkadot UI. Currently, I'm on the accounts page, and you can go head over there underneath accounts and select the accounts button. Um, and from here, we're going to go over to developer, click on extrinsics, and that will bring us to this page. So to set up our staking proxy, we want to first make sure that we have a user primary account or a stash account that we will send the, front, the funds from to the staking proxy account. So in this uh, input, I will select the stash account that I want to make um, as the user primary account. I will click on the proxy palette and that will load in all of the functions that are associated with this palette. I'm gonna leave it to add proxy because I'm simply just adding a staking proxy to um, my user primary account. So this delegate um, form, this delegate input form, um, this will be the proxy account that will be created from calling the add proxy function. So. I'm going to choose on this account to be my proxy account. And then the proxy type, you want to set it to staking. There's also other choices here too, if you'd like to um, select a different kind of proxy. And there's a time delay. Um, time delays aren't necessary, but they're very useful if you want to have um, a proxy first announce what they are going to do as an operation before they actually do it. And then once you're done, you would hit on Submit Transaction. Okay, and now we want to um, enter in our password for our account. And then we want to hit Sign and Submit. Perfect. And so now while it's loading, we can think about how we can actually use our staking proxy um, now that it's been created. So one way we can do that is heading over to Network, click on Staking. And then on this page, we can head over to account actions and we can begin nominating with our staking proxy if we want. So in this, we would have, we would set up our controller and stash account using our proxy and our user primary account. And that is just one way that you can participate in staking using your staking proxy. Um, I hope to, that you enjoyed this video, and if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers!